A very good morning to each and every one of us. Good morning, Father. Good morning, Father. Thank God for this new day and uh, let us put ourselves in the time of prayer. Lord God, we bless you for this day. We thank you for our lives. Thank you for one another. Lead us gradually to the celebration of Easter that it may truly change us, our minds and our hearts to be able, O oh God, to be formed according to your will. We offer you our day's intentions. We offer you our day's struggles. We offer you our day's challenges. Those that we know already. Those that we have been thinking about in the night. Those that are even yet to unfold for, for us in the day. We offer them, O oh God, in the order of sacrifice today. That in all that happens unto us, we may never forget that your will for us is our peace. Teach us, O oh God, not to allow our selfish thinking to obstruct your purpose and plans in our lives. For we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We take our readings for day 29. Today is Wednesday, the fourth week of Lent. Let us be quiet and listen to the reading. First reading is taken from the book of Isaiah. That says the Lord, in a time of favor, I answer you. On the day of salvation, I help you. And I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people to restore the land and allot the desolate heritages, saying to the prisoners, come out. To those in darkness, show yourselves. Along the ways they shall find pasture. On every bare height shall their pastures be. They shall not hunger or thirst, nor shall the scorching wind or the sun strike them. For he who pities them leads them and guides them beside spring of water. I will cut a road through all my mountains and make my highways level. See, some shall come from afar, others from the north and the west, and some from the land of Sinai. Sing out, O heavens, and rejoice, O earth. Break forth into song, you mountains. For the Lord comforts his people and shows mercy to his afflicted. But Zion said, the Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget her infant? Be without tenderness for the child of her womb? Even should she forget, I will never forget you the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, the Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is faithful in all his works and holy in all his works. 
The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. The Lord is gracious and merciful. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me will never die. Glory to you, O Word of God. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus answered the Jews, my father is at work until now. So am I at work. For this reason, they tried all the more to kill him because he was not, he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also called God his own father, making himself equal to God. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, the son, of, the son cannot do anything on his own but only what he sees the father doing. For what he does, the son will also do. For the father loves the son and shows him everything that he himself does. And he will show him greater works than these so that you may be amazed. For just as the father raises the dead and gives life, so also, so also does the son give life to whomever he wishes. Nor does the father judge anyone, but he, ha he has given all judgment to the son so that all may honor the son just as they honor the father. Whoever does not honor the son does not honor the father who sent him. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever, hear, whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not, and will not come to condemnation but has passed from death to life. Amen, amen, I say to you, and the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so also he gave to the Son the possession of life in himself and he gave him power to exercise judgment because he is the son of man. Do not be amazed at this because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life but those who have done wicked deeds 
to the resurrection of condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear and my judgment is just because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, let us be quiet in a moment over the word that we have heard. Arise, Catholic faithful, rejoice and renew. Jesus in today's gospel continues the discourse that had begun yesterday because he had healed a man and told him to carry his mat on the Sabbath. And the people now had forgotten what God had done. And they were interested in their own understanding and interpretation of the law. In answer, Jesus said to them, my father is at work right up to now, and I am at work. Dear friends, the import of this whole thing that Jesus wants to drive to us because he talks many things to us is that as the father lives, and as the father does, so he lives. And he transmits this exactly to us, that you and I will behave and live as we have seen him do. The problem they were seeing is that Jesus was making himself as God. Indeed, they truly understood that he said he was God but they just simply refused. They will not accept. Yes, and many of us claim that Jesus is God, but what does it mean to you? That's all we say, but it doesn't reflect in your life. This is why Jesus will be able to tell on the cross, Father, forgive them, for they really do not know what they are doing. Many of us who call ourselves Christians don't even believe truly that Jesus is God. If you really did, you will follow him without flinching. How come that you say Jesus is God, yet we do what we want? Sunday we were told because we read in the famous John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he who believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. What is this eternal life? Dear friends, what is it? Jesus spells it out today to us that he, anybody who believes in him has eternal life. And remember on the last day, all the dead will rise. Those that have believed in him, not those that have merely appeared in Christ, but those that believed in him, lived for him, lived their life as a witness for him, will rise to the resurrection of life. And the rest of us will rise to the resurrection of judgment. Therefore, it is appointed unto man to die but once. And after that, judgment. So in answer, Jesus said once again to them, I assure you, of himself the son can do nothing except what he has seen the father doing. Whatever he does, the father does similarly. This is a very simple analogy. 
in the peasant times, you know, peasant father, you do exactly as you see your father would be doing. Like that is why the expression, like father, like son. But today, this is sad. You see many of us children who have no resemblance to our fathers. And we ask ourselves, are we really children of our father? Today, the Lord is challenging all of us. Live your life as you would want to imitate Jesus in his imitation of the father. When you think and ask questions, when you behave, ask yourself, is this what Jesus would have done? Or this is what I want? To live your life totally, wanting to be like your father is the greatest honor that a man or a woman can seek for himself or for herself. Jesus also tells the Pharisees that if they do not honor the son, they also do not honor the father. No one, no one can ever inherit the kingdom that we know of if you do not treat the son as you treat the father. Let us pray today that all of us may truly come to the realization that Jesus Christ is God. The one, the thief on the cross saw this and managed to steal him heaven just like that. The soldier who pierced Jesus standing at the foot of the cross Traditionally, he is called Longinus. He was able to declare, truly, this man was the son of God. Where is our proclamation and our lives? Saint Jerome gives us great advice as our quote for the day. There is one most precious, one most priceless pearl that we need to treasure. It is in a threefold. One, knowledge of the Savior, the mystery of his passion, the secret of his resurrection. Three in one. There is one most priceless pearl knowledge of the savior do you know him by the way what does it mean to know god is it merely to see him and read your bible what does it mean when the bible says a man adam knew his wife and he gave birth to a child what does it mean to know intimacy into me i see into you i see into god we see into me god sees God is intimate with me. The mystery of his passion. Anybody who embraces the knowledge of the Savior will by all means love to get into the mystery of the passion, his suffering, his death. And then the Lord will reveal unto us the secret of his resurrection. That in all things, the sacred heart of God shall triumph. The sacred heart of God, Jesus Christ, shall triumph. May God richly bless us that all of us may truly grow in him. Amen.